In this problem, we're told to find the dot product of vector a, which equals 2x squared i minus 4xj plus 5k, and vector b, which equals 11i plus 2.5xj. So we're trying to find the dot product here. And so the way you're going to do that, uh, it's gonna, you're going to follow this formula. So the dot product of vector a and b is going to be equal to the x component of your first vector times the x component of your second vector plus the y component of your first vector times the y component of your second vector plus uh, the z component, right? So there's x, y, and z. Uh, the z component of your a vector times b, or the z component of your second vector, right? So this is the formula we're going to use. So what is a sub x, b sub x, and what are all these? So essentially you see we have the i, j, and k here. And so what these represent are the x, y, and z uh, axis, right? So this is the i is the x, this is the y, so the j is the y, and this is the z. And so essentially, the numbers out front are your a sub x, right? So this is going to be a, a z. So they don't give us, or this is the y, right? So they don't give us a z component in the second one. So we're just going to put 0 for that. But your a sub x is going to be the thing out front. So 2.0x squared is your a sub x. Uh, your a sub y, right, is going to be the thing in front of the j. So that's what we're going to use to solve this. So essentially, it's going to be equal to a sub x, which is this part right here. So 2x squared. And then the a component of this one, which is just the thing out front of the i, which is 11, plus a sub y, which is just the minus 4, uh, minus 4x, right, multiplied by the y component of your second vector, right, b sub y, which is 2.5x, and then plus your z component, which is the thing in front of the k, which is 5, and then on this one, there is none, right, so there's nothing with the k hat, so we just put it as 0. So really, we're just adding 0 here. So it's going to be equal to, and then you just want to multiply it out, right? So it equals 2 times 11 is 22. So this is going to become 22x squared. And then this is going to become minus, and then uh, 4 times 2.5 is 10. But then we have the x and the x. So really, this is minus 10x squared. So 22x squared minus 10x squared is 12x squared. So uh, your answer to this problem, or the dot product of these two vectors, is going to be equal to 12x squared. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.